Hello everyone, this is Arafelon, back with another platformer from Epic Mega Games. Uh, last time I played Joe of the Jungle, which was one of their earlier games. This one's a little more uh, further on into Epic's development as a company, and is a little more referential, at least as far as I can tell. Uh, there's some things in here that, especially at the beginning, feel kind of like uh, Doom Duke Nukem kind of references with the big gun and all that. And when we get to the starting a new game, the level select difficulty also feels kind of doomish. Uh, we've got some Christmas stuff going on that may be because I'm recording this in November. Oh yeah, this... This reminds me of the level select for a lot of 3D shooters, where if you choose the easy things, it's like, haha, you're a baby. And it gets uh, you know, progressively more uh, badass as you go up the difficulties. I'll just start on medium. That's your difficulty, is standard whatever, episode one. So we go into the stage. Uh, your default controls, as I call, are... Yeah, it's alt to jump, space to shoot, and control is switch weapon if you have more than one. You have lives, you have timers, you have uh, various animalistic type enemies. Your character is an animal, but with a big gun. But yeah, we have a lot of running around, we have springs, we have bonus items, we have things kind of like monitors that you shoot. If this doesn't feel like Sonic the Hedgehog, you've probably never played Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, secret passages through walls. But yeah, you gotta go fast. And there are secrets. Which I'm mostly ignoring in the interest of getting through the level and getting to the second stage where I think things are a little more interesting. You have to have his legs doing that swirly thing like they do with Sonic. If I switch to the toaster, that's higher power. And if you if you hold the fire button, you just shoot. You can even run around after you hit the end level. There, stage two. You get some new weapons. Just shoot those. This was uh, yeah, rapid fire missile. I'm getting my keys mixed up, I'm not used to this layout. Or maybe RF isn't rapid fire. In any case, RF missiles. So running around this stage a little. There's an actual monitor with, I think that's like a shield. Yeah. So yeah, definitely getting a Sonic the Hedgehog kind of feel here. Let's see if I can find the things I did in the test run. Oh, there's another shield. Yeah, unlike Sonic, you do have a health bar. Uh, you don't have rings, though. So, oh, here we go. Speed shoes. Music's even going faster. If this doesn't give you Sonic the Hedgehog feels again, you've never played Sonic the Hedgehog. It's basically Sonic with a gun instead of a spin dash. Just racing through the level here getting hit more than I should, because I am being careless. The game kind of encourages you to be careless with the super fast thing. Oh. Yeah, rapid fire. Kind of, anyway. Can I hit that? Hmm. Maybe I shoot from here? Does that go through the walls? Nope. So yeah, I'm not sure how to get to those others. But yeah, those aren't rapid fire in the usual sense. That's just now when I hold the fire button, he'll shoot continually instead of just shooting once. If you get more of them, that gets faster. Not sure what that big gem was either. I don't think there's such a thing as chaos emeralds in this game, but who knows? Said so it does seem very much intended as a Sonic-like game, and you even get bonus stages, which again. This feels very Sonic with uh, you know, the way you're running around, uh, you know, well, it's kind of faking 3D, you get a 2D thing, it's, uh, early Mario Karts did the same thing, where you had a 2D layout, but you were facing it as though you were, it was 3D. I'll just see if I can clear this, see what happens. Uh, those hands there just get in your way, I think they just bounce you back, no big deal. Looking to get 30 gems, getting pretty close already. I'm fairly certain there are considerably more than you actually need. 
know, we'll just keep running around and find them. You can still jump here. If you press your shoot button, you kind of curl up into a ball and can run into things and bounce off. Sometimes you just do that for no apparent reason also. Maybe you should try to go too fast. And there, if you get enough gems, you get an extra life, not a Chaos Emerald. And it's Sonic-like, it isn't actually Sonic. Now approaching Tube Electric. Ah, this music. This music I remember. Hmm. I'll just let this go a little. I think the carrots were health. You have tubes you go through again. Feels like Sonic the Hedgehog. Ah, yeah. Definitely this music I remember. Uh, if you play later uh, Unreal Game... Uh, yeah, Unreal Games Unreal Tournament. This has the same kind of feel as a lot of music in those games. It may just be the instrument. I don't think I've heard anything quite like it in other types of games. See, I think I got a new weapon too, the launcher. Yep, bouncy weapons. Oh yeah, we have some neat weapons going on. And that feels kind of Unreal Tournament-y, actually. Although, obviously, a very different type of game than Unreal Tournament. Kind of getting these. Can you jump out of those? Doesn't look like it. But yeah, Jess Jackrup has some pretty great music. Uh, yeah, this isn't really going anywhere at this point, unless I want to just keep playing and go through more stages, so... Uh, I think I'm going to end the video around here. Uh, this has been Eric Felon playing Jazz Jack Rabbit from Epic Mega Games. Next time I'll go back into a earlier uh, game from them, one that has more of a Joel the Jungle kind of feel to it. Because uh, to be honest, I do prefer the more pure platformy kind of platforming and less shooty racing around at high speeds platforming. So yeah, I'll see you then, hopefully.